Greetings to all. Welcome back to online class. Social. Okay. So, first lesson that is outbreak of World War I and its aftermath that is EFX. Second part. Okay. Unit 1. Outbreak of World War I and its aftermath. Second part. Before that, let's recall the previous class. Okay. First of all, the year 1914 is a turning point in world history. The political processes and social processes began in the year 1789. That is the time of the French Revolution, which paved the way for the First World War. The First World War, which broke out in the year 1914, changed the course of even 20th century. Okay. Three major empires suffered a lot by the end of the war. First one, Germany. Second one, Austria-Hungary. And the third one, Ottomans. That is the Turkish Empire. Okay, Turkish Empire. I think you have learned all these things. Next, to scramble for colonies regarding that. Capitalist countries raise for colonies. Aim of a capitalistic industry was to produce more and more. The surplus wealth was used to build more factories, railways, steamships and other purposes also. In the later half of the 19th century, communication and transportation developed. It paved the way for European expansion in Africa and other places also. So, this much is about to scramble for colonies. Scramble means competition. Next, regarding the next paragraph, rise of monopoly capitalism. Monopoly means exclusive control. So, uh, rise of monopoly capitalism. Industry and finance became the essential characteristics of imperialism. So, on my question, you know, after 1870, the alliance of industry and finance searching profits in the markets for goods and capital. There were trust in U.S. and cartels in Germany. That also you have learned maybe. A trust is an industrial organization. Okay. Cartel is an association based upon a contractual agreement. Okay. That is the difference between this trust and also cartel. Okay. Next to getting imperialism and essential characteristics. Under that we have learned lot of things. Capitalism led to imperialism. One more question. Lenin said imperialism is the highest stage of capitalism. The colonies were not only considered as market for the surplus goods but also served as other purposes also. And rivalry of great powers first of all Europe. In the 19th century the European powers had colonized many other countries. By the year 1880 most of the Asian countries became the colonies of Europe. Okay. And the clashes among great powers that also we have learned and um, England was the leading in industrial growth and England controlled the vast empire also. Yet England was not satisfied. It was in competition with Germany and the United States. Next Asia that is rise of Japan. Under that we have learned a lot of things. Japan was one of the Asian countries. Japan in this period that is Meiji era. Meiji era from 1867 to 1912. Japan had emerged as an advanced industrialized power. In 1894, Japan forced a war on China. This is known as the Sino-Japanese War. China, Japan, Sino-Japanese War. In this Sino-Japanese War, little Japan, little Japan defeated China. This surprised the whole world. Okay. This surprised the whole world. And... In the year 1904, a war started between Russia and Japan. It is known as Russo-Japanese War. 1904, Russo-Japanese War. In this war, Japan defeated Russia and got back Port Arthur. After this war, Japan emerged the circle of great powers. The circle of great powers. Next, regarding strong armed diplomacy of Japan. That is after 1905, Japan took the control of Korea's domestic policy and of foreign policy. Korea's domestic policy and also foreign policy. Both were under the control of Japan. That is after the year 1905. And Japan annexed Korea in the year 1910. Japan annexed Korea in the year 1910. This is one more question children. Then colonization and its fallout. 
in the year 1876, only 10% of Africa was under European rule. By 1900, practically, the whole of Africa was colonized. Britain, France and Belgium had divided the African continent between them. Few areas were given to Germany and Italy. Britain, France, Russia and Germany established spheres of influence in China. Spheres of influence in China. Silvaku Mandalangal. Okay. Regarding the causes, goals and results. Lot of, that is many causes which are responsible for the outbreak of this first world war. We have learned that is first one. In the year 9, European alliances and counter alliances. Counter alliances. In 1900, five of the European great powers were divided into two armed camps. The first one, Central Powers and Allied Powers. And here, Triple Alliance that was formed in the year 1882. And France and Russia, their alliances were formed in the year 1894. Okay, 1894. The Anglo-Japanese alliance induced France to make an alliance with Britain to solve colonial disputes over Morocco and Egypt. This resulted in the Entente Cordial in 1904. So, Entente Cordial 1904. Thus, Triple Entente of Britain, France and Russia was formed in the year 1907 and Triple Alliance Italy, Germany and Austria Hungary in the year 1882. In the year 1882. Okay. Then, uh, violent forms of nationalism that is with the growth of nationalism the attitude of my country right or wrong i support it that you know another not sorry that is the meaning the love for one country demanded hatred for another country okay and aggressive attitude of german emperor emperor kaiser Wilhelm II of germany proclaimed that germany would be the leader of the world Okay, Germany would be the leader of the world. The German Navy was expanded. In 1805, Napoleon was defeated in the Battle of Trafalgar. That is in Spain, you know. That is 1805. That's one more question. After that, sea was considered as a preserve, preserve, considered a preserve of England. Okay. Next, regarding hostility of France towards Germany. That is, France and Germany were old rivals because in the year 1871, France was defeated by Germany and captured Alsace and Lorraine from France. Alsace and Lorraine, that is from France. Regarding imperial power politics in the Balkans, the Young Turk Revolution was started in Turkey in 1908. Here is the onward question. It was an attempt to create a strong and modern government in Turkey. Okay, modern government in Turkey. Next, regarding the Balkan Wars, Turkey was a powerful country in the southwest of Europe in the first half of the 18th century. The Ottoman Turkish Empire extended over the Balkans and Poland. Okay. Macedonia had mixed population on Marcustin and there were rivalries among Greece, Serbia, Bulgaria and Montenegro for the control of Macedonia. And the division of Macedonia did not satisfy Bulgaria. Bulgaria attacked Serbia and Greece. But Bulgaria was easily defeated. This is known as Second Balkan War. Very important question. And this Second Balkan War entered with the signing of the Treaty of Bucharest, Treaty of Bucharest in the year 1913. So, Second Balkan War came to an end by the Treaty of Bucharest, that is 1913. And immediate cause, the climax to the events is in the Balkans occurred in Sarajevo in Bosnia. On 28th June 1914, Archduke Francis Ferdinand and his wife Isabella, okay, then they reached Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia, but they were assassinated by a Bosnian Serb. Austria utilized this opportunity to eliminate Serbia as an independent state. Okay, all these things we have learned in the previous class and the German violation of Belgian neutrality forced Britain to enter the First World War. All these things we have completed that are causes and all over. Okay, now we are going to see today's class, goals of the First World War. Okay, goals of the First World War. First of all, the warring nations were divided into two. Waring, the, that means the countries which are fighting against each other. Warring nations were divided into two. The central powers and allied powers. Okay, central powers and allied powers that we know. And in the central powers, Germany, Austria-Hungary, Turkey and Bulgaria. Okay, earlier Italy was with Germany and Austria only. Then Italy left because of Trentino. Because of Trentino. Actually, 
Trendino was located in northeast Italy. Trendino was located in northeast Italy. Majority of the Italians lived in Trentino only. Okay. But this Trentino remained as a part of Austria Hungary. Italy tried to recover this Trentino, but it was not supported by Germany. Okay. Italy became a neutral country when the war broke out. But it decided to enter the war, hoping that it should gain or it can gain the territory in the northeast. Its main aim to get the territory in the northeast. In April 1915, on Mark Christine, secret treaty of London was signed. Secret treaty of London was signed in the year 1915 by Britain, France and Italy. Britain, France and Italy. By this secret treaty of London, Italy agreed to end the First World War against the Central Powers. Okay. Italy agreed to end the First World War against the Central Powers. In return for this territory after the war. In return for this territory after the war. First of all, Allied powers. Totally nine countries opposed the central powers. They were Britain, France, Russia, Italy, United States, Belgium, Serbia, Romania and Greece. Okay. All these places, these countries you can see in the map. Okay, what are they? Britain, France, Russia, Italy, United States, Belgium, Serbia, Romania and Greece. Romania and Greece declared war on Central Powers in 1916 and 1917. Okay, 1916 and 1917. Romania and Greece declared war on Central Powers. You know which are the countries or they are in Central Powers. But Romania and Greece played little part in the war. Most Americans wanted their country to remain neutral only. Okay. So, United States gave only moral support and valuable material support okay, to Britain and France. What's the reason? Most of the Americans wanted their country to remain neutral. So, United States gave only moral support and valuable material support to Britain and France in the first three years. In the first three years, you know, First World War 1914 to 1918. And that you have to calculate first three years means when to when. Okay. And next heading, SARS abortive attempts for peace. Abortive means a failure. His attempts became failure only. SAR, SAR means a king. And SAR Nicholas II of Russia, SAR Nicholas II of Russia advised the countries that they meet together and bring about an era of universal peace conference. They need a universal peace conference were held at Hague. Okay, They meet together and bring about an era of universal peace conference. Were held at the Hague. Hague is a city in Holland. Hague is a city in Holland. The other name of Holland, Netherlands. The name of Holland, Netherlands. That is in the year 1899 and 1907. But in vain, that is no result was there. It was a failure one. Okay, Hague conference, peaceful conference, peace conference was a failure one. Russia joined with allied powers and entered the war. Russia joined with allied powers and entered the war. Next, war in the western front or French front. War in the western front or French front. Eastern front is Russian front. Okay, don't confuse with this children. War in the western front that is a French front. War in the eastern front means it is a Russian front. So here western front or French front. Germany smashed the resistance of Belgium. Smashed means you know. On the side of the allies it was the duty of a French army to fight against the central powers. Okay. On the side of the allies it was the duty of a French army to fight against the central powers. But within a month Paris, the capital of France, seemed almost doomed. D-O-O-M-E-D, doomed means destroyed. Okay. Within a month 
Paris. Paris is the capital of France. It was seemed almost doomed, destroyed. Okay. Next, battles of Tannenberg and Marne. Marne, see the spelling children, M-A-R-N-E. E silent, you have to say Battle of Marne. So, Battle of Tannenberg, that is in East Prussia. Okay, Marne, that is in Paris. Paris, that is France. Okay. Russian forces invaded East Prussia. Germany defeated them. Okay. Russian forces invaded East Prussia. Germany defeated them. The Battle of Marne was held in early September 1914 on Marcostein. The French army got victory and Germany was pushed back. Okay. Battle of Marne was held in early September 1914. The French army got victory and Germany was pushed back. Okay. Thus, Paris, the capital of France, was saved. Okay. Protected. The Battle of Marne is memorable for trench warfare. Trench warfare. Now we will see trench warfare. Trench means ditch. Okay. D I T C H. These ditches were dug by soldiers. These trenches or ditches were dug by soldiers. These ditches help the soldiers to stand safely and protect themselves from enemy fire. F I R E. Enemy fire. The main lines of these trenches were connected to each other. <coughs> the main lines of the trenches were connected to each other. Through the trenches, okay, through the trenches, food, ammunition, ammunition means weapons, fresh troops, mail and orders were delivered. Okay, through the trenches, food, ammunition, that is weapons, fresh troops, mail and orders were delivered. Next, Battle of Verdun. Verdun is a fortress in France. Cote, fortress in France. This Battle of Verdun is also known as a five months battle. Five months battle. Between February and July 1916, the Germans attacked Verdun. On Marcus D, Germans attacked Verdun. You know, Verdun is the city that is a fortress in France. Next, it is a famous fortress of France. Okay, Verdun. In this five-month battle of Verdun, two million men took part. Two million men took part. But half of them were killed in this battle. Half of them were killed in this battle. Britain fought against Germany near the river Somme. S-O-M-M-E. That is a river in France. Okay. There is a battle of Somme. is considered as a four months war. Okay, Battle of Verdun, five months war or five months battle. And Battle of Somme, four months battle. Okay, four months battle. This is known as Battle of Somme. That is, Britain fought against Germany near the river Somme. This is known as Battle of Somme. In this four month Battle of Somme, Britain lost 20,000 soldiers. 20,000 soldiers on the first day itself. Okay, such a heavy loss. But the Battle of Verdun decided the victory of Allied countries in the First World War. Anyhow, Allied countries only going to get victory like that. The decision was there. Okay, and war in the Eastern Front or Russian Front. War in the Eastern Front or Russian Front. In the Eastern Front, that is in the Russian Front, Russian troops repeatedly defeated the Austrians. Russian troops repeatedly defeated the Austrians. But in turn, the Russians were defeated by Germany. Okay. But in turn, the Russians were defeated by Germany. Because the Russians had worst trained army. Worst trained army. Russian losses were the greatest one. In the year 1917, Tsarist rule, Tsar means king, king of Russia. Tsarist rule in Russia was overthrown, overthrown by October Revolution. Tsarist government don't want like that, okay, October Revolution. Russia wanted to pay, P-E-A-C-E. So it signed a treaty with Germany on 3rd March 1918, one word question, 3rd March 1918. That is known as the Treaty of Litovsk. Brest Litovsk in the year 1918. Okay. 
ரஷ்ய அண்ட் ஜெர்மனி ரஷ்ய அண்டு ஜெர்மனி நெக்ஸ்ட் மைனர் தியேட்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த வார் சிறிய போர் அரங்குகள் தட் இஸ் இன் டேமல் டர்கி ஃபாட் ஆன் த சைட் ஆஃப் சென்ட்ரல் பவர்ஸ் தட் வி நோ இன் த பிகினிங் டர்கி காட் விக்டரி த அல்லைடு கண்ட்ரீஸ் சஃபோர்ட் இன் மெசபட்டோமியா மெசபட்டோமியா ஹிஸ்டாரிக் ரீஜியன் ஆஃப் வெஸ்ட் ஏஷியா மெசபட்டோமியா ஹிஸ்டாரிக் ரீஜியன் ஆஃப் வெஸ்ட் ஏஷியா that is the allied countries suffered in mesopotamia and gallipoli peninsula gallipoli peninsula that is in turkey turkey yet turkey was defeated finally okay then the turks tried to attack suez canal but they were chased britain attacked turkey in iraq palestine and syria okay britain attacked turkey in three regions iraq palestine and syria next war in the far east war in the far east china also joined the allies japan captured the province of kiacho kiacho okay this kiacho was given to china by germany by germany in the shandong province okay this kiacho was given to china by germany in the shandong province there was no war in the far east no war was there in the far east utilized this opportunity japan threatened china and received valuable concessions and privileges okay threatened china and received or got valuable concessions and privileges also now war in the balkans war in the balkans the austro german army that is the army of austria and germany austro german army that is the army of austria and germany joined with bulgaria okay joined with bulgaria and crushed serbia crushed serbia then serbia came under german rule serbia came under german rule Romania watched the calls of the war and in August 1916 Romania joined the allies on war question on war question August 1916 Romania joined the allies but Romania was also captured by Austro German army Romania was also captured by Austro German army next fate of colonies in Germany in Africa fate of colonies of germany in africa the allies attacked the german colonies in western and eastern africa okay the allies attacked the german colonies in western and eastern africa all these colonies were far away from germany all these colonies were far away from germany so they could not receive any immediate help and surrendered to the allies they couldn't get any immediate help okay that is the reason they surrendered to the allies next italy falls to austrian onslaught that is italy couldn't face the attack of austria italy couldn't face the attack of austria in may 1916 italy joined the allies in the war italians were continuously fighting with the austrians but when the germans came to help austria the italians collapsed italians collapsed next victory of central powers victory of central powers we know germany austria hungary bulgaria and turkey were central powers okay the central powers successfully occupied belgium and part of france in the north east poland serbia and romania okay well that is the central powers successfully occupied belgium and a part of france in the northeast poland serbia and also romania poland serbia and also romania the epicenter of the struggle was western front you know western front that is french front and eastern front which one russian front okay so the epic one more question the epicenter of the struggle was western front and the seas and the seas yes yes the allied powers controlled the sea routes and they cut off the supply of food they cut off the supply of food and other materials reaching the central powers so in germany and austria women and children suffered from hunger and privation 
privation means lack of food or shortage of food what's the reason allied powers controlled the sea roads and they cut off the supply of food and other materials reaching the central powers so in germany austria and austria women and children suffered from hunger and privation privation means lack of food or shortage of food l a c k germany attacked england by air okay germany attacked england by air bombs were thrown on london and industrial centers london and industrial centers targeting the civilian population that is common people civilian population aeroplanes were used the germans introduced poison gas after that both sides used the same that is both sides used poison gas next naval battles and america's entry into the war naval battles and america's entry into the war naval battles means battle on sea okay battle on sea in 1916 a naval battle that is in the battle of jutland that is the battle of jutland jutland is in denmark jutland is in denmark so in 1916 a naval battle that is the battle of jutland had taken place in the north sea the british won the battle okay the british won the battle that is the british got victory then germany started their submarine warfare near mulhi kappal submarine warfare they disturbed the allies these submarines disturbed the allies the famous ship emden the famous ship emden okay you have learned in match the following maybe the famous ship emden bombarded madras bombarded madras means put a bomb in madras the germans proclaimed in january 1917 that they would sink even neutral ships in certain waters okay neutral ships certain waters lusitania an american ship was torpedoed torpedoed that is sank by a german submarine german submarine more than 100 americans died in this incident okay more than 100 americans died in this incident there was a lot of resentment in us resentment in us american president woodrow wilson got angry and declared war against germany in april 1917 okay april 1917 america entered the war with its enormous resources enormous resources america's entry confirmed the victory of allied powers america's entry gave a turning point in the first world war okay next armistice and treaty of versailles armistice means to stop the war stop the war okay and finally germany surrendered in november 1918 on marcus din the armistice okay the war stopped armistice war the war stopped that is from 11th november 1918 11th november 1918 kaiser william 2 of germany Kaiser William II of Germany abdicated the throne, resigned by the Vivilla who was okay, abdicated the throne and fled to Holland and he fled to Holland. Germany was forced to accept harsh terms, harsh terms. Germany swore for peace on November 11, 1918. Okay, next peace conference in Paris. Peace conference in Paris. Peace conference in Paris. okay the first world war came to an end by the paris peace conference of 1919 paris peace conference of 1919 the main personalities of the conference were woodrow wilson of usa lloyd george of england george clemens of france and orlando of italy okay this is to mark question in two years back in that book this question was there the main personalities of the conference were woodrow wilson of usa lloyd george of england george clemens of france and orlando of italy if germany didn't accept the terms of the treaty of versailles it would face another war okay in germany didn't accept the terms of the treaty of versailles it would face another war like that germany was threatened okay germany was threatened and forced germany to agree the terms forced germany to agree the terms 
on 28th june 1919 the peace treaty was signed okay the peace treaty was signed on 28th june 1919 that is signed in the hall of mirrors at versailles versailles in france versailles now we will see provisions of the treaty provisions of the treaty first point germany was found guilty of starting the war and therefore was to pay reparations and losses suffered okay that means germany only started the war so it should pay reparations that is compensation compensation for the losses suffered because of the loss for the losses it should pay reparations all central powers were directed to pay war indemnity compensation instead second point the german army was to be limited to 1 lakh men that is enough like that it was concluded a small navy was allowed third point union of austria and germany was forbidden forbidden means prevented stopped prevented or stopped fourth point all german colonies became mandated territories under the league of nations mandated means protected mandated means protected all german colonies were the protected territories under the league of nations league of nations one of the peaceful organizations okay it was created to maintain international peace and security that we will learn later and the fifth point germany was forced to revoke forced to revoke the treaty of brest litovsk with russia and bucharest with bulgaria revoke here means cancelled revoke means cancelled see germany was forced to cancel the treaty of brest litovsk with russia so we have learned this one brest litovsk treaty germany signed with russia and treaty of bucharest germany signed with bulgaria both the treaties don't want one to remove want to cancel like that okay also is in lorraine was returned to france and that also we have learned france that is also is in lorraine returned to france that is the two territories are related to france only and now it was under the control of germany that both the areas should be given to france now okay now seventh point former russian territories of finland estonia latvia and lithuania were to be independent so finland estonia latvia and lithuania were considered as independent regions okay independent territories northern schleswig was given to denmark and some small districts were given to belgium poland was recreated again poland was created because poland suffered a lot during the time of the war and the rhine land was to be occupied okay rhine land it is a strip of german land okay it is a strip of german land and that is rhine land was to be occupied by the allies it was a rhine land was under the control of the allies the area on the east bank of rhine was to be demilitarized it is considered as a demilitarized zone okay next separate treaties were signed by the allies with austria hungary bulgaria and turkey okay the treaty of severus was signed with turkey by the allies one part and one word question treaty of severus and the sultan accepted that treaty but it was a failure one because this treaty was opposed by mustafa kemal pasha okay mustafa kemal pasha and his followers so the treaty of severus which was signed with turkey by this allied powers was a failure one okay now fallout of the first world war fallout of the first world war the first world war left deep impact on european society deep impact on european society and politics through conscription conscription means here military service military service and air raids so through military service and air raids the war had involved and affected more population affected more population than in the past than in the past 8 million people died in 4 years okay 8 million people passed away they lost their life more than twice as many were wounded as many were wounded that is a pitiable condition that is very difficult also 
Many of them crippled for life, physical disability. Some of them left their legs, some of them left their hands, eyes, nose like that, crippled life. Millions of people died because of worldwide influenza of 1918. Understand? Poisonous fever. Like present day corona. Understand? Poisonous fever. Now, imbalance between men and women, particularly shortage of men. Okay, imbalance was there between men and women. Soldiers came to be placed above common people. That is much importance was given to soldiers only than the common people. The war and its effects changed the period of history also. Changed the period of history also. The most important thing was the rise and the consolidation of the Soviet Union. Rise and the consolidation of Soviet Union or USSR. USSR full form Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. America ended the war as a debtor country. D-E-B-T-O-R. Debtor country. But it emerged as a money lender to the whole world after the war. Okay. See the sentence. America ended the war as a debtor country. But it emerged as the money lender to the whole world after the war. That is, கடன்பட்ட ஒரு நாடாக போரில் நுழைந்த அமெரிக்கா போருக்கு பின்னர் உலகத்திற்கே கடன் கொடுக்கும் நாடாக மேலெழுந்தது ஓகே முஸ்டாஃபா கெமால் பாஷா பிளேட் அ ரிமார்க்கபிள் ரோல் ஃபார் டர்கிஸ் ரீபர்த் அஸ் அ நேஷன் ஸோ முஸ்டாஃபா கெமால் பாஷா ஹீ பிளேட் அன் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ரோல் ஃபார் த ரீபர்த் ஆஃப் டர்கி ஓகே கெமால் பாஷா மாடர்னைஸ்டு டர்கி அண்ட் சேஞ்ச்டு இட் அவுட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ரிகக்னிஷன் Kemal Pasha modernized Turkey and changed it out of all recognition. Now, impact on India. Impact on India. The First World War had a significant, that is important, impact of India. The British, the British collected vast troop of Indians to serve in Europe, Africa and West Asia. Africa and West Asia. After the war, the soldiers came back. The soldiers came back with new ideas. Came back with new ideas. India contributed 230 million pounds. Okay. India contributed 230 million pounds in cash. And over 125 million pounds in loans. Towards war expenses. Towards war expenses. Okay. What are the new ideas? India contributed 230 million pounds in cash and over 125 million pounds in loans towards war expenses. India also sent war materials to the value of 250 million pounds. This caused enormous economic distress. Enormous economic distress. Food shortage was there. Okay, shortage of food. There were grain riots. Grain riots, food products riots was there. Poor people looted shops. Looted means looted shops. Okay. Towards the end of the war, India also suffered under the worldwide epidemic of influenza. Epidemic of influenza. The war led to the rise of a home rule movement in India. War led to the rise of a home rule movement in India. You know who started that one. That and all we have learned already in the previous lessons. Okay. The Congress was reunited during the war. Okay. So the war led to the rise of home rule movement in India. And the Congress was reunited during the war. India took an active part in the war. They believed that. Britain would reward India's loyalty. Britain would reward India's loyalty. But only disappointment was there. Only disappointment was there. We people couldn't get anything. Thus the war had multiple effects on Indian society, economy and polity. Indian society, economy and polity. Okay. 
ओके लेट्स रीकॉल कैपिटलिस्टिक कंट्री एवर ग्रोइंग डिमेंड फॉर मार्केट अंड रा मेटीरियल लीडिंग टू स्क्रांपल फॉर कॉलनी अंड द रिजल्ट अंड क्लाश अमंग द ग्रेटस्ट पवर्स यूरोप आर डिस्कस्ड राइस ऑफ जपान एस एन इंपीरियल पवर इन एशिया इज हाईलाइट डिवीशन ऑफ यूरोप इन टू वेरिंग कैम अंड रिजल्ट अंड अलयस अंड कौंटर अलयस आर डीटेल America's entry into the war in the context of a launch of submarine battles by Germany and the DCC victory won by the alliances are outlined. Paris Peace Conference and the provisions of the Versailles Treaty was analyzed. Fallout of First World War with the focus on okay this one revolution Russian revolution that um, <coughs> we will discuss later. First World Peace Organization that League of Nations and its role also will come back. Okay. okay, children, with this I finish today's session.